I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I trust you're having a good week with your technology. Now, this is going to be a very interesting netcast for a couple of reasons. One is it's netcast number 201. We just had our 200th episode, and boy, it was a long one. Me and the Game Master just got talking and lost track of time. My goodness. But it is well worth watching, particularly if you want to get reviews of summer movies. Dude. Anyway, um, but for today, we are running into the issue that happens every August, and that is that all the tech businesses just go away and have a vacation. Ah, there's not a lot of news. <laughs> there's just not much going on in the tech world. Matter of fact, on Tech News Today, which is Tom Merritt's program on the Twit Network, they were talking, they spent the first like five minutes talking about the fact they didn't have anything to talk about. I kind of know what they're going through. Anyway, that's pretty much the way it is right here. I'm going to go over here to the blog. The blog, of course, being, as it says here, drbill.cc, D-R-B-I-L-L, dot C-C for computer curmudgeon. By the way, I forgot to mention, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Don't want to forget that because we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. I really appreciate what those guys are doing. As a matter of fact, part of what I had to talk about today has to do specifically with techpodcast.com. So we'll get into that. Matter of fact, let's just do that now. Let me get my mouse. Ever get your mouse hung? My wire is not cooperating with me. Okay. My mouse is also giving me a problem for another reason. I don't have anything to put under it to make the, uh, you know, the laser doohickey. It's trying to go through glass. Glass tables just don't work with laser mices. Mices, mices. <sighs> hey. Anyway, if you go <laughs> to the blog that I just aforementionedly said, drbill.cc, then I encourage you to look roughly not quite the center of the page but very close to it there is a little item there that says take our survey now this is a survey from tech podcast network and it is specifically tailored to getting information from my viewers so i encourage you to fill it out go forth and fill it out there's no prize or anything it's just Interesting information to know. You know what I'm saying? It will help us to determine what, uh, you know, like products and things you might be interested in. And it's totally anonymous. Now, here's the thing. Totally, totally anonymous. Not collecting any data about you personally, as in your name, address, serial number, etc. <laughs> no. Just your general information. Okay. So, take the survey, that'll help us out. Um, also, we are a proudly sponsored netcast of uh, Carbonite. And Carbonite is an awesome, awesome technology. And really, it's a cloud-based technology. I mean, it fits in perfectly with my whole thing that I'm a cloud dude. I'm just so cloudy. I float by. Anyway, maybe the beard is cloudy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, but no, it is cloud backup because it is in the cloud, Carbonite is, and when you sign up with a Carbonite account, it backs up your data into the cloud and uh, safely and securely, and it's awesome. So if you use this special URL right here on the bottom of the screen right now, you can take advantage of this awesome deal to get Carbonite. And I'd encourage you to do it. Do it now. 
you can actually pause this netcast, do it, come back, you know, and then resume right where you left off. That's the great thing about being on-demand video. You know what I'm saying? As Todd Cochran says, it's as live as it can be. There you go. All right, so let's get into our items. The first item, talking about the cloud, is the Kindle Cloud Reader. Now, this is something I've been looking forward to. I was hoping that they would develop this because, just between you and me, <laughs> I, there goes my phone. That's the ringy dingy sound of my phone, if you can hear that. Uh, I'm going to ignore it because I'm doing the netcast. So forget it. Don't call me on Saturday mornings. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Persistent cusses, aren't they? Anyway. <laughs> People should know better. So the thing is that I got beeped once in the middle of a netcast. It was I was on call and I had the beeper, and then the beeper went off right in the middle of the netcast. It even got called the the Doctor Gets Beeped edition. So maybe we'll call this one the Ringy Dingy edition. I don't know. Anyway, also my hair is getting down in my face. Don't like it. These distractions! I keep getting distracted from what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that Kindle now has a cloud reader. That's what I'm trying to say. And... You know what? I tricked... I tricked the... Uh... The sound. The, 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 the drum roll. <laughs> You're right there, drum roll. Ah, I tricked the drum roll. This is awesome. Anyway, <laughs> that drum roll, which was very late, is telling us that the Kindle Cloud Reader is our Geek Software of the Week. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do? Anyway, <laughs> the Kindle Cloud Reader is awesome. I said that twice in the write-up here. Awesome. Now, here's why it's awesome. Because, between you and me, this is what I was trying to say before that silly phone went off, <laughs> is I've misplaced my Kindle. I don't know where it is. But I've been reading my Kindle books, which, you know, are Star Trek books, obviously. But the Kindle books I've been reading, I've been reading off my phone. Because my Android phone has a Kindle app that allows me to read off my phone. Now, it's a little bitty screen, and I have to kind of do the old sticking the arm way out there deal to read it, but it's cool. So, here's what I thought to myself. Self, I thought, <laughs> I need to take my netbook and get a Kindle reader for the netbook. But see, my netbook is running Jolie Cloud because it's a cloud operating system client thing. And I like it a lot, but it doesn't have a Kindle app for it until now. Because now, with the Kindle Cloud Reader, anything running Chrome will read Kindle books. Which means, ha ha, I'm good to go. I can read Kindle books wherever I am with whatever device I happen to have handy. Which includes my phone, my netbook, my computer. What else is there? Oh, a tablet, if I had a tablet. And I one day will have a tablet, but I don't have a tablet yet. Just saying. So, <laughs> there you go. The Kindle Cloud Reader. Dude! If Now, as I say in the article, much awesomeness. However, if you don't have a Kindle Cloud, a Kindle? Kindle account. <laughs> it's putting cloud in there. Kindle account, then I'm sorry that my excitement is going wasted on you. But hey, sorry. But I like it, and it's cool. So, by the way, the lighting in here is a little odd. I'm going to work on the lighting. It's just... I see that part of my face is in shadow. Makes me look mysterious. Well, we'll go with that. Okay, next item. Last week's Geek Software of the Week has been updated. It's gone to version 1.9 of Airtime. And it added a really cool feature that I really like. Matter of fact, if it wasn't for this feature, I'm not sure I could even use it to automate a radio station, which is its purpose. 
Get my tongue going again. Maybe I need to crank it up. Nah. Anyway. So, you know, it gets lazy and I have to crank it. Like the old cars. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, so. Here's the thing. The new feature is that you can drag and drop a file into a directory and it will automatically register in the Airtime database so that you can use it to build playlists of whatever it is you drug and dropped into that directory. Which is a much better way of doing it than the way they did it previously. That way still exists, but you can do it this new way and it's better. They call it, what do they call it? I forget what they call it. They call it magic something. I remember there was a word magic in there. So I'll just go to their website and see. Okay, let's see. Latest release. Um, do, 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 do. Here we go. Airtime 19 released with magic file synchronization and archive management. Airtime 19, the open source radio software, is out now. A new file. A new file storage system now allows users to set watch folders to magically synchronize files and easily browse their audio archives. Add to this Shoutcast support, they now support Shoutcast as well as Icecast, a one-line Ubuntu install command and improved front-end widgets. widgets. Airtime 1.9 is one of the most feature-packed releases ever. And weirdly enough, they released the new version Mere days after I did the demo in the last netcast. Good timing, guys. It could have just been a little quicker. That's okay. They didn't know. You know, can't fault them. Just saying. So, like I said, very slow news week this week. Sorry. But, I did see this. Android took. I put took in quotes because that sounds so thievish. Android took 20% of the tablet market from Apple last year. Dude. So, it says, Android-powered tablets have taken 20% of the global tablet market from Apple's iPad over the past 12 months, according to new data from ABI Research. <laughs> yes, research is important. Just saying. <laughs> Can be boring. But the bottom line is, is that somebody's given Apple a run for their money in the tablet arena, which I am all down with because Apple gets too cocky. Steve Jobs, I mean, he, he said we can't use Flash, so he just cut that out. And then he said you can't put anything in the Apple, what do they call their thing? The Apple iMarket, I don't know. Whatever it is where you can get apps. And you, you can't put it in there unless you pay them 30% of whatever it is you earn. I mean, dude, that's awful. So I'm just saying, they're cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. Good advice from Han Solo. Anyway, so when you get cocky, you turn into the emperor. I made that up, totally. But it makes sense. Pride goeth before a fall. Yes. So, that's what's happening, is Android is eating into their market share. So, go for it, Android. Droid. Just saying. So, there you go. Oh, yes. Another thing I wanted to mention. And that is that we have yet another awesome offer for you. And that is go to PC Express. Go to Assist. I'm sorry. Go to Assist Express. <sighs> I just have problems with words sometimes. Getting better at it, though. Anyway, we have a special URL once again right here on the bottom of the screen. If you go to that URL, you can get Go to Assist Express at a special deal. Awesome deal. 30 days free trial. Go there, check it out, because Go to Assist Express is an awesome package that allows you, as a super geek, to go and help your friends. And you like helping your friends. Maybe not all the time when they do stupid things on their computer, but it's, you know, here's the thing about that. You go, you help them, and later on, you laugh really hard because they're being stupid. But you know what I'm saying. Okay. Bless their darling hearts. Sometimes I wonder about computer users that have no clues. 
Perhaps they should work with blue and get blues clues. Ha <laughs> ha! A reference to a small kid show that I watched with the Game Master when he was but a tyke. He would now roll his eyes and look at me and go, <sighs> heavy sigh. Because he doesn't watch Blue's Clues anymore. Oh well. As far as that goes, he doesn't watch Barney either. But then, neither do I. So, Sesame Street, sometimes I still catch. Not really excited about what they were trying to do with Bert and Ernie, but then they changed their mind. Just saying, Bert and Ernie should just be Bert and Ernie. Not Bert and Mrs. Bert, or whatever. Know what I'm saying? Just some things you don't mess with. It'd be like making Captain Kangaroo... I don't know. What should we make Captain Kangaroo? A superhero, yes! <laughs> Captain Kangaroo with a long cape. You know, when he was playing the... I'm digressing a lot here. But when he was playing the Banana Man, he was almost a superhero. He'd put on the costume with all the pockets, and then he'd be going, me, 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 and pulling things out of his pocket. Boy, I'm dating myself a lot, huh? I mean, you got to be as old as I am to remember Captain Kangaroo. <sighs> I liked it. You know, he had Bunny Rabbit on there. Bunny Rabbit was quite a trickster. Mr. Grangings was kind of long-suffering because he put up with a lot from that crowd. And then, of course, Mr. Moose. Yeah, I remember them all. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway. How did I get off on Captain King? Oh, Bert and Ernie, yes. I am, you know, leave Bert and Ernie alone. Go make your political commentary elsewhere, but leave Bert and Ernie alone. And Grover, too. Yes. Mm, Elmo. Hmm. I kind of worry about Elmo anyway, so not going there. But <laughs> I did not mean to get into any political commentary. This is a tech show. <laughs> so we'll go on. Um, Actually, guess what? We're out of items because, like I said, this is a slow week. Yes. So, oh, yes, the Roku 2 giveaway is done. And it has been emailed. Not emailed. You don't email an item. You mail an item. Regular old snail mail. Well, it's priority mail. I'm digressing again, and the hair is getting in my face again. <sighs> Sigh. Where was I headed? Yes, so it has been, <laughs> it has been mailed. And will soon be delivered. Probably has been delivered. So, hopefully... He will be excitedly using his Roku to watch Dr. Bill. Which, by the way, he said he was quite excited about getting that. So, you know, dude, I hope Hunter enjoys it. He sent me an email that said he really appreciated winning. You know, he was excited about that. Which, you know, I can't blame him because Rokos are awesome. So, I've got my new one set up, but I haven't totally programmed it yet. You know, gone into every channel and, and associated it with all the various channels. I just haven't done it because I haven't had a chance. I've been busy running around doing stuff. I'm really kind of randoming out here. So we'll stop for now. Perhaps on the next netcast, we'll have another Game Master segment if I can run him down and put him in front of a camera. It's hard to do. Have to wrangle him and tie his feet. Yes, you didn't see him running around in that last segment, did you? Ha, ha, ha. Aha. Uh -huh. So, just saying. All right. <laughs> it's time for the doctor to be out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.